Hi, I edited the same photos in three different programs to see which one is the fastest. Let's see how it went. Bokeh photos. So the bottom line is I made some beautiful and tasty pineapple with pork chops or rather pork chops with a pineapple. As you can see here, those are example free images. I will display you a couple of images right now and you tell me in the comments which one is the best and why do you think like that? because it's looking at this edit, edits as you can see here this is on one this is lightroom classic and this is exposure x7 i wouldn't say that any of those image is either better or is performing worse than the others they are differently edited i did try my best to do this as similarly as possible but it went how it went the bottom line is i wanted to know which one, either on one Lightroom or Exposure, will be the fastest? As it turns out, Exposure felt the best. Everything was responsive enough so I would be happy. On one has a very nasty habit of loading between images and lagging. Well, Lightroom, we all know Lightroom, it always works a little bit differently, but it's just slow. So what am I saying? So check the images and tell me which, why in the comment section and I will be back in a second and let's go through those features I wanted to talk about. So as you saw, this is how it went, three different softwares, the same images. The only thing I wanted to do is to make this as fast as possible, meaning I want my software to be fast and work smoothly. And as I can say, exposure is the best. And what did I mean previously? If I want to change, an, this is on one, if I click an image here, you can see this bar here. I cannot do anything until it will load the image and unfortunately it does take a little bit of time Three, five. that was too long and I have an SSD drive especially for photography and it's still not enough by the way the recipes if you want hit me in the comment sections I will pull those in the description but if we are here the sliders work very very nicely like you can see that okay there is a pain with loading the image i understand totally but afterwards the sliders are very very smooth like look at that perfection this works very very nice in on one but the loading between images especially when you are doing some new photos and this is being loaded every single time like you will already lose your interest but this of course may be only my problem this is exposure and if i click on an image it's pretty much being loaded right off the bat the sliders aren't that smooth at all but do we really need to have it that much smoother we are scrolling anyway, you need at least half a second to see if the exposure is right or you want to scroll on the slider further to change those elements. So I would say, but look like, look like, look how fast this is. 
I just click and I got my images loaded and on, on one yes after you click it's being loaded but this is really a lot faster in my opinion or maybe I'm doing something wrong if I am please teach me hit me in the comments and tell me what can I do to make it faster both of those programs of course have some tweaks and tuning effects you can do in the preferences so it will be faster but just out of the bat if you are using like me software like that just to tune in the regular stuff that you can see here exposure shadows blacks contrast eventually some vignette sharpening etc any of those softwares will be more than enough and adequate i would go simply with exposure because it's the fastest i can see everything and i have all of those right here those filters because in, on one for instance i have to go to effects and add a filter add a for example glow and only afterwards i can do this here and not in the develop that i can i have to click again another time yes maybe i'm whining a little bit but hey this is it i want something that is really really pin sharp fast let's see a couple of other images for instance is there any difference because if i would go and look at this i don't see any difference they are edited differently and that's the bottom line and all those edits you can you want to do maybe there is infringing maybe there are some smaller effects but all of those programs are pretty much doing the same thing they have the same sliders the same name con naming conventions everything is similar so for me performance is number one and the top priority i would go with the exposure i would test i will test uh, maybe capture one but there is a very, very steep price so i am not really into that but i will check this nonetheless in the future and for that you saw the images did you see the difference really this is my opinion and i would say that exposure one did this the best on one was the second and lightroom was the last although i would have to say that on one has a very nicely working sliders but still image loading was a little bit faster i would say i feel like this in lightroom there is no differences look at this here we have clarity in on one we have structure which is pretty much the same thing as you can see dynamic contrast also in the effects you can add a lot of those everything from co for color grading and exposure of course you have all the stuff you can have very nice bokeh effect you can create like it's very very pretty much up to you to decide what would you want because maybe some of those features you are using i don't i just need the regular sliders and then after afterwards i'm changing anything in affinity photo either way or using some filters in some different software but those here this is more than enough for anyone i would say so unfortunately i can't give you the best answer for me performance wise you should definitely download a trial of exposure make a couple of pics edit those photos inside the program and then you will feel and you will see if this is working for you or not every software is a little bit different if you need this you can buy for example for one feature you could buy a software right and you unfortunately and only you will be able to tell what is that feature and why like here we have some presets with on one there are plugins for affinity photo also and for photoshop and for other things the denoise is very very nice here of course also the interface is a lot better in on one than in exposure just a 4k monitor and everything is very very small but i don't really mind but those are very small differences and nobody will tell you what which one is better if you have a nice pc that everything works smoothly for you you shouldn't even be changing the software probably it's the same just learn for for your own good and sake that you will know but besides that everything is awesome let me check my points if there's anything else to talk about yes so you did see the photographies and you right you will write me down which one were the best i did say that this is not a scientific 
bro, this is my feeling that yes, exposure is the fastest on one. Loading between images is out of the question. It's too long for me. The different edits of those images are probably not to the software, but also to the edited edits itself. Because I was doing this in a different time of the day, so it, if it is a lot darker, you tend to edit the images darker, or at least I do it, because the bright monitor is so bright that I imagine that it is brighter than in reality, especially when you are testing the photo or looking at this at your mobile phone in the sunlight outside the next day. And yes, that's it. So this was the short comparison between on one Lightroom and Exposure. And yes, I feel that Exposure is the fastest of those, but is it enough for you? I don't know. Try to get some more information and hit me up in the comment sections if you had made a decision and what this decision was and why. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.